and if the array 1 is pressed, so the down key is down a, a row is pressed, then we just layer 2 dot move down. Actually make as if here, because uh, both the up key and the down key is uh, not too logical to press. Okay, and if array 2 is pressed, so it means the W key is pressed, then we move the player 1 dot move up. So we move the player 1 to up, and the, in the last thing we check the array 3, and if the array 3 is pressed, we just move the player down. So player dot move down. That's it. Okay, so this is for the logic section for now. And the last thing in the logic section to move the actual things, everything. So player one dot move. Uh, why? Oh, we don't have to move just the ball. So ball dot move. Actually, not the ball. Ball one because the ball is the variable type, and the ball one is what we created. So the instance. So we just move the ball, and then we render everything. So render. Okay, and in here I just show everything. So uh, player one, player one dot show. Uh, player two dot show and uh, ball one dot show. Okay, and one last thing remains. We should draw a rectangle um, to override everything that is on the screen. For example, uh, the last position of these uh, players and things. Uh, usually, it could be a good idea if you would, uh, uh, you know, just uh, set always the. So you just feel a rectangle where the last position, and you know, I showed you the optimization in the collision tutorial, so uh, the first part of the collision tutorial, uh, but for now we will not uh, really optimize this code, we will optimize it later, maybe, if we have time, okay? So just draw a rectangle, so SDL fill rect, and the first parameter obviously the screen, where do we want to draw? The second is the screen, the uh, clip rect. Okay, uh, I show you already this parameter. This is actually just a rectangle which represents the entire screen. So we don't have to manually give it. And the last one thing is the color. I think the white color is good. So SDL map RGB screen format and the others are just uh, you know white. Okay. That's about it. And uh, now we have to make the regulating the FPS. So make regulate SPS. So we don't want the game run so 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 quick. So uh, if 100 actually make an SPS variable as we did in the regulate SPS, this will be a const as well. So const int SPS equal 30. 30 SPS is good. Okay, so if 1000 slash SPS is greater than SDL get takes minus start, then we just delay it. Nothing new in here, we could say that. Okay, that's it. Uh, there is nothing new in here, so if you don't understand, you should go back to tutorial 2 or 3. And uh, I think that now we should start to run the program. Okay, so get the terminal and just try to compile everything. Okay, uh, I, th I thought there would be more error than this, but don't worry. Uh, okay, uh, ball cpp and 30, line 30. Oh, there is uh, two uh, uh, colon. There is the two colon. We don't want to, you know, inherit or something. Okay, main dot cpp line six. Okay. Okay, I'm not really sure why if if that not work. Uh, but let's move on. Uh, make the other uh, errors. So. In here, there is a semicolon missing. Okay, the next error is uh, okay. Let's try to compile to see what error is missing. Okay, main that cpp. Okay, the other errors are in the main that cpp and the pedal that cpp ten uh, line ten. Oh, it's well, well, it's well, city. Okay, that's right. And the other errors in the main that cpp. 21 or oh, const okay the next one is uh, oh one line and two typo okay and all right load image okay I just write it back because I try to what the problem is but uh, I don't know the problem is disappeared after I uh, make the pedal probably the missing semicolon was the problem. Okay, the next one 
is 87 okay there is no player there is just player 1 or player 2 which obviously player player 1 is moving in here okay and okay the next is 91 oh not clip rect that clip rect with an underscore uh, between the clip and the rect okay and that seems that is all okay uh, oh one more thing when we the, uh, end to the end of the program we have to uh, exit from the SDL so SDL quit and actually I don't think there is more thing that we should deinitialize because uh, the destructors deinitialize everything else for us so just compile the program and try to run it dot out okay we cannot see anything in here uh, but why exactly is that hmm. Okay, I find two errors. This was pedal the BMP and pedal the height, height. That, but this is not all. I forget the SDL flip. So SDL flip, green. Okay, uh, now it should work as it uh, should work earlier. So I compile it and run running. As you can see, we have two pedal, and actually these pedals are working. With S and W, I can set the pedal in the left, in the up and down arrow. I can set the pedal in the right okay as you can see it's work I can move both in the same time actually okay now we just uh, um, uh, set the easier problem so whenever I go out I can go out and whenever I go down I can go down from the screen as you can see uh, some reason I can't go up but uh, in theory it should go up so yeah we have to fix that okay uh, change it so we go to the pedal and as you can see we have a move up function and the move down function and as you can see we can actually uh, subtract and add uh, while while we want so yeah okay so we have to set the maximum width and the height uh, yeah so if uh, actually make it here so if box dot x is box dot x is less or equal than uh, zero then we just set it back to zero. So put the x equals zero. So whenever we go down and we go to zero, then we set back to zero. So yeah, and equal. We don't need that equal sign there. So we cannot go uh, outside of the screen. The move down is a little more tricky because we have to use the SDL get video surface in here. So if the box that x is greater than SDL get video surface, and from that we get the clip rect, clip rect and from the clip rack we get the y okay so if it is greater then we set the x to this value as you can see okay so in theory we avoid that we avoid that oh oh i know what the problem is i don't know why did i write y but i wanted to write y not x what uh, never mind so just set it to y and everything will be good so if i go up uh, you don't see it so if i go up then it stops at the it stops at the bo uh, top uh, but if I go down which is not which I uh, don't do it mm, actually mm, make it uh, here sorry about that little mistake I will but you know I planning the game while I am doing it so this is kind of re real-time programming because okay so if it is greater or equal than if it is uh, greater than zero then we just uh, decrease it if it is zero or less then we don't decrease it anymore the next thing if it is less than the maximum height then we just increase it if it is the maximum height we don't increase it anymore so we will not stack stuck okay now we can compile and run so if box dot y is uh, okay there is another mistake here this is not why this is height so yeah the height of the entire camera so the screen uh, now it should work sorry about this mistake but you know not so good at live so if I go down as you can see that whenever I reach the maximum okay sorry about that but there is another mistake so not box Y the box Y plus box height so the uh, bottom uh, bottom corner of the box is less than the height of the screen so 
480 uh, we do uh, the down so yeah okay now it should work I guarantee it almost okay as you can see whenever I reach the down it stops okay and whenever I reach the upper corner it stops as well okay I cannot go upper or I cannot go downer okay now we have another problem as you can see whenever I start the game the ball is starting as you can see and instead of hit the wall it just goes through it so that's the next thing we want to uh, fix okay we have to go to the ball.cpp and inside the move function we have to check that if x uh, the box that x is uh, actually we just check the y if box that y is less or equal than zero or box that y is greater than equal to the height then we just change the direction okay so that's the next thing we do so if box dot y is uh, less or equal than uh, zero so if we are up here at the bottom of the screen then we just simple change the direction uh, so we just simple change the y direction so make y velocity uh, equals to minus y velocity okay we do the same thing with the upper corner so if box dot uh, y plus box dot height is uh, greater than equal SDL get video surface which will just re uh, which will just return with the screen pointer uh, and we get the clip rec from that and we get the clip uh, and we get the height from this clip rec then we just simply negate the y speed okay I'm I think that it should work okay so whenever the ball is hit this wall it will change the y speed so it will go and in that direction as you can see it hit the wall okay but it will not hit the pedal we have to check the collision with the pedal actually this is I think the most tricky part of the entire program the collision detection although it seems simple at first and I will show you why is that is not as simple as it seems first although not too complicated it neither but you know just uh, we have to complicate a little bit all right so in the move function we have to check the uh, collision with the pedal so actually if I think over it we have to give the uh, two pedals so the rectangle to the two pedals so add the rect pointer to the rectangle one and uh, actually call it layer one and uh, an FDL rect and we use the player two okay and we have to change the, the definition inside the header file uh, two so just oh, what is this doing so here I clicked here okay so we just change the definition here and before I forget it uh, we have to uh, give the player Oh, not here in the ball so player one dot get rect and the second parameter is player two dot get rect okay simple enough so we just give the two rectangle as you may remember we defined a get rect function here because we will use it all right and uh, we have to check the collision if collision and we just simply give the address of box and one parameter so address of box and the player one and if it is true uh, you remember we defined the collision right here so if it is true then we set the x velocity to minus x velocity so x velocity make it uh, x well make it equal to minus x well okay and if there is a collision between the box so the uh, ball and between the ball and the player two then we just set the x velocity equal to minus x velocity so we just change the direction that's all we do okay and we can start the program I think so uh oh we don't define the get rect oh right I I believe that we defined all of the rectangle but we didn't as you can see it write undefined reference so we just use the pedal get rect and we this is a very simple we just a simple return with the box actually the address of a box like that okay and now we can try to run the program and uh, uh -oh. go down here and try to try it okay okay success okay with the other player we try that the same thing okay this uh, ball is go too slow we have to change that to three four five six pixel per uh, frame okay so oh success in here as well so it work like a dream okay so we have to make in the main that cpp the uh, speed of the ball so we give a little speed to it so give uh, free free that's a little quicker 